everyone. Are you ready to worship with us today? Let's remember, dress neatly, sit upright, and keep our eyes and ears on God. Happy Sunday, kids! Hope you're staying healthy. It is great to see you in online worship. Are you enjoying your day today? Hope you're having a wonderful moment that God gave you as a present. Let's start with a prayer. Let us hold our hands, close our eyes, and bow our heads. Let's pray. Holy Father, you are the maker of heaven and earth. We thank you for guiding us to the way of life in Jesus. Please make our sinful hearts as white as snow again. May we be filled with rejoice in Jesus today. Hope we are safe from coronavirus. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen.
Now, let's read our call to worship. It's found in the book of Psalm, chapter 95, verse 1 to 3. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before Him with thanksgiving and extol Him with music and song. For the Lord is the great God, the great King above all gods. Psalm chapter 95 verse 1 to 3 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst? Now repeat after me. This is the Bible. I believe what it says. I confess my heart is receptive. I will follow whatever it says. In Jesus' name, Amen. Love, love, love one another and be kind. Be kind to each other. September. It's already the end of September. Next week is October. How do you feel? How are you? Okay, are you okay? A few days ago, I watched YouTube. It was about a couple. The husband was 91 years old. The wife was uh, 88 years old. Both of them were old. The husband said a prayer. God, may people live happily as I am. It is okay even if people are happier than me. That was his prayer. The husband always praised his wife. He, he always said to uh, his wife, Thank you, darling. He told his wife, I could live till now because of you. He and his wife saw the people who were living alone and poor. I thought about his attitude to his life. It is really impressive. I also thought that a thankful mind is important. People were not always happy in the first church. The Corinthian church was made up of several groups of people, although there was no leader. Also, there was no pastor in every church back then. Around this time, most apostles were in Jerusalem. Only Apostle Paul was in the Asia Minor, but he heard the sad news from the Corinthian church. Several groups of people argued with one another. They had quarrels all the time. People in the Corinthian church quarreled because of the gospel. Paul was sad. The Corinthian church followed different apostles and other church leaders. Certain people said that they would follow Paul. Others said that they would follow Peter. Some people said that they would follow Apollos. 
because uh, he was a very good preacher. Another group of people said that they would follow Christ. People in the Corinthian church thought that all the leaders had different gospels. They seized up one another. Paul was sad because of that. Paul said that it was wrong. He thought that love was more important than being right or wrong. Paul focused on having love. He said that love was the greatest. That love was more important than faith. Paul said in the Bible, if I have faith that can move mountain, mountain, can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. Following Jesus is to love others. The Bible says that we should love one another. We are called to love one another in Jesus. We should love our friends and teachers. Love? What then? What is love? 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 <laughs> what is love? Love is to pass somebody's mistake or sins. Can you pass others' mistakes? Let's practice loving others. Repeat after me. Let's practice loving others. Okay, okay, just the four ways. So you can do it. Let's practice loving others you did okay good let's uh, pray together now hold your hands close your eyes bow your head loving god may we learn how to love like jesus help us to love one another so people will know that we are your disciples because we love each other. In Jesus' name, Amen. Chapter 42, verse 3b. While men say to me all day long, Where is your God? Psalm chapter 42, verse 3b. Psalm chapter 42, verse 5b. Put your hope in God, for I will yet praise him my Savior and my God. Psalm chapter 42, 
verse 5b.